I've been researching to try and find the next meme coins which can do a 100x or more. And in this video that I posted recently, I shared my strategy about finding standout meme coins on different chains which could become the mascot of that chain and then see significant growth after a catalyst event such as a large airdrop or a significant improvement to the chain. And until now, there hasn't really been any standout meme coins on the Polygon chain. And to be honest, there hasn't been much of a meme coin culture on the Polygon chain in general. But that is all changing. Recently, when Dot Markets just launched, and this is going to be a launch pad for meme coins to launch on the Polygon chain. And you can think of this a bit like the Polygon version of Pump.fun. Now, the aim of this launch pad is going to be to allow anybody to launch a meme coin fairly on the Polygon chain, which will allow people to go and speculate on super low market cap meme coins without the fear of rug pulls or any of that kind of shit that we normally see in the meme coin world. The aim of this is to start bringing some of that meme coin speculation onto the Polygon chain. And there has been one standout meme coin which recently launched on Wendot Markets, which I believe can become the main mascot of the entire Polygon ecosystem. Now, this meme coin is called Goon. And as I'm recording this, the market cap for Goon has been consolidating around six to seven million dollars after seeing some insane growth just one week after it's launched. So here are five reasons why I think this coin can become the main mascot of the Polygon ecosystem and also why I think this coin could do more than a 100x from this point. So the first point is on the name and the branding of the token. The ticker is Goon and the branding is the Purple Devil logo. In April this year, the CEO of Polygon, Sandeep, tweeted and he said that he's referring to everybody in the Polygon community as Polygoons. And you'll notice that his name on Twitter has the purple devil emoji inside his name on Twitter. And that's because this is the logo which has become synonymous with the entire Polygon community or the Polygoons. So by branding this token to be well aligned with the collective term which everybody in the Polygon community is already referring to themselves as, it makes this meme coin well positioned to become the mascot of the chain. Now the second reason is the team which is building this project. There's no initial devs involved. Instead, the whole project is being bootstrapped and built by a community of volunteers and they are spending their own time for free to build up the branding, the marketing, build the website and the socials and the strategy for where this project wants to go for the future. It means that this is a grassroots movement being built by the people and in my opinion that's what a meme coin should be all about. Now the team are aligning the goals of Goon with the overall goals of Polygon as an entire ecosystem. This means that everything that defines Goon, what it is, what it stands for, what it's aiming to achieve for the future is going to be symbiotic with the aims of the Polygon ecosystem as a whole. Now, this means that Goon can become more than just a meme coin, but rather a community coin, which everybody in the Polygon ecosystem can not only relate to, but also feel represented by. And this, again, moves its status towards becoming the main mascot of the Polygon chain. The third reason why this can take off is the sheer desperation of all chains to bring that meme culture onto their chain. So in 2024 so far, we've seen meme coins popping off on Solana and then we had a huge wave on base and every chain wants this like they really really want it and that's because meme coin speculation brings a huge influx of users onto your chain and once they're there they inevitably start looking around at what else is going on inside your ecosystem and that's why Avalanche launched their 100 million dollar community coin fund to incentivize projects for building meme coins on the Avalanche chain like I mentioned in a recent video this shows that chains want this meme culture on their chain so badly that they're willing to spend huge amounts of money to try and incentivize people to come and do it. Because it means that your user base goes up. That means the number of transactions you execute on a daily basis goes up. It means your chain grows in general and it also increases your revenue. So with all that being said, it means that once Goon becomes established, I think there's a very high likelihood of synergy with the Polygon chain officially. Because it's in their interest to demonstrate, look, we've got a super successful meme coin on our chain and that means that it's very likely that more can follow so people should start coming to Polygon to speculate on new meme coins to try and get in early on the next goon. The fourth reason is one of the examples of how this synergy could materialize and that is the Polygon Community Grants program which was just announced in June this year. As a part of this program Polygon are going to be giving one billion dollars worth of grants to 
projects which are building inside the Polygon ecosystem and this is something which the team of Goon volunteers are actively working on at the moment is applying for one of these grants. Now this would give the team funding to continue growing the Goon project and if it was approved suddenly you've got a grassroots movement by the community which is being formally funded and supported by the chain. In a sense it would be a sort of formal recognition from Polygon and again this would add even more weighting to the thesis of Goon becoming the main mascot of the Polygon chain. So this fifth reason is absolutely crazy. So the rallying cry which you will hear from the Goon community is one billion or death and what they mean by this is that they're aiming to get Goon to a market cap of one billion dollars. And it's not just lip service, people inside this community are actively putting their own money where their mouth is. A one billion or death fund has been set up and some of the largest whales in the community have been donating their goon tokens to this fund. The largest whale who has made himself public has donated 10% of the total token supply to this fund and with other contributions from other people as I'm recording this, the fund has around 11% of the total token supply inside it. Now these funds are locked and cannot be withdrawn and once the market cap of goon reaches $1 billion, all of these tokens are going to be burned forever. That's fucking insanity. Those tokens being burned will be worth over $100 million at the point that they get burned. Now, of course, this is absolutely insane, but it's a testament to the fact that some of the largest holders in the community are so invested in seeing this project grow and thrive that they're willing to donate massive chunks of their own crypto towards making it happen. Now, this couldn't be further removed from the typical rug pull mentality which we see in a lot of meme coins. You've normally got whales buying early and trying to dump on everybody else in the rest of the community and this is like complete opposite side of the spectrum where the whales are actively trying to make the project a success so that everybody who gets involved in it can hopefully make a lot of money. Now there is a bonus sixth reason which I'll let you go and research yourself and that is the fact that the aggregation layer is coming to Polygon. This could potentially be revolutionary in terms of interoperability. It's an update that's coming to Polygon maybe later this year which can drive a huge influx of users and funds onto the chain and naturally a portion of these are going to find their way into meme coins and very likely into the main mascot meme coin of the chain which by that point could be well established to be goon. But I'll let you go and do your own research on the aggregation layer because it's just too involved for this video. So just for a bit of fun to finish off, if you were to buy goon just now while we're sitting at this market cap of seven million dollars, if the community succeeds and this reaches a market cap of one billion dollars, that means that your investment would get a 140x from this point. But of course this is not financial advice and I can't guarantee that that's going to happen but I can say personally that the Goon community has been the best one I've been involved in in crypto and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for this movement. So if you want to get involved too don't just go and FOMO into a crypto because you saw a short YouTube video about it. I'll link the telegram group below for the Goon community. As this project is so early going in here and reading through the pinned messages is the best way where you're going to get up to date on everything which has been happening inside the community while the team of volunteers are building up the website and all these things. And if you do join, tell them that Savvy Stevie sent you. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more like this. And you can also check out this video here where I take you through the one I mentioned earlier about finding the next 100x meme coins. Definitely worth checking it out.